can't do it. I cannot go on one more date with this guy. You know, I'm just not getting butterfly feelings in my stomach. It's more like I'm getting termite vibes. shadow of a doubt how much I love the Dollar Tree but I have to tell you the next several hauls are so so good so don't miss out on them but we're just going to go ahead and dive in the first thing that I want to show you guys is the Dawn soap here with the apple now I'm very excited about this and you're probably wondering like why is that super exciting I'm about to show you because I'm once again going to mention Vanessa in this video. I think it's been a little too long since I last mentioned her, just like soap, but it's the apple scent, which is what's important here because of this product right here. So this is not from Dollar Tree. I got this from Walmart. It is the Dawn Power Wash Dish Spray, dish spray, in the apple scent. You can see the apple label right here. And uh, Vanessa actually showed how to refill this using these so that's why I got the apple I was so excited when I found these at Dollar Tree so that I can just do my own refill these for whatever reason are just sold out constantly um, especially the apple scent one they do have like a regular but you guys I absolutely love this product and I love the the spray too because it comes out in a foam so she just showed in one of her videos how to take this combine it into here with some water and then it's like you just refilled it for a fraction of the cost so that's why i got these and i'm excited about that next i found another hair accessory product from dollar tree and i absolutely love the hair accessories at dollar tree whenever i do i find like a jackpot of them like scrunchies and things like that it's honestly one of my most favorite hauls to do is show you guys those products and i found this really cute headband i'm gonna go ahead and take this off so we can just see the headband but how lovely is that i mean hello so i mean obviously i haven't done my hair for this but it's really nice ultra soft and it i can't believe i found this i only found the this in the color black so i don't know if there's other options i imagine there might be at least one other one but so far i've only found the black i think this is going to be a great stocking stuffer item so just put that on your list in case you feel like you know somebody who would love that or for yourself then I found another mug, which um, you're going to see items throughout the next several hauls that are going to be for my gift basket video. I know it's highly requested right now and it is coming really soon. So you, you will end up seeing this in a gift basket video. But I absolutely love how massive this mug is. It's gorgeous. You've got the red, so super festive. They also have it in plain white, which I almost went with that one instead of the red. And then I think they also have it in blue. But all of them have the white interior. So just want to point that out. Those are the only colors I saw. Um, I don't know if there's other options. If you have seen other colors, comment down below and let me know what you saw. So I got that. And then what really impressed me the most is that I found meal prep containers from Dollar Tree for a dollar. But what's interesting is that they had this in the party section, you know, where they have like the paper plates, the napkins, all of those things. I don't think that was the right section to put this considering it says meal prep containers with lids on here. This should have gone, you know, in the, the kitchenware section in my, in my opinion. Uh, but you do get a two piece in here and then, uh, are they both this? Yeah, they're both the same size. That's so amazing. And I know meal prepping is, you know, very, it's really huge right now. And then here is this option. And then you get this one, which is really interesting and my favorite. And you get the different 
little compartments. And this one is also a two-piece. I picked up one of these scalloped uh, containers. They're really cute, just clear, really, really pretty. You're gonna see this in, a, in one of the gift basket videos. And I just absolutely love these containers. I think there's just so much that you can do with them. You can use them as organization bins. You can use them to do gift baskets and party stuff. You know, if you're doing like a little party, those are gonna look great. And this one is brand new. I've never seen the trifle container. Look at that. I mean, you've got the stand and everything. These are awesome. You can definitely DIY these. Obviously, you can use it for your parties. If you're doing like some sort of bar, like a breakfast bar, a candy bar, a popcorn bar, like movie night, these are gonna be really cute to put like all your your goodies into and I was shook but I only found this one because let me tell you if I found more I would have picked up several of these whenever I shop at Dollar Tree I always have favorite sections that I visit every time I walk into that store and because of that I can tend to bypass other areas and forget obviously how sneaky Dollar Tree can be and putting out brand new things when you just least expect it and so when I went into the party section, this caught my attention. And then while I was there, I found these and I could not believe it. It's the cutlery set, but what's so unique and brand new about them is that they're like speckled with glitter. What? This is amazing. You've got the silver option, the gold option for my daughter's 17th birthday. Uh, we did a gold and silver theme and I think there's actually a video on it and I did a I got a lot of stuff from Dollar Tree But had they have had these at the time, which was almost three years ago. I would have flipped My lid over this so but anyways I'm going to show you guys that they have these and these are beautiful Also, I just want to say that the ones that look like gold give that Thanksgiving Feeling for me. I don't know. So just there you go then I found new rubber made products, but what is new for me on this one is the color of the lid. It has that copper look to it, and I thought it was really awesome that they're putting out different colored lids, and you just get the two square bowls in here. And then what really shook me to my core are these little pedestal, what, do you, what are they calling these? These are just like little like candle stands or what candle holders yeah they're calling these candle holders and look at the quality of these now four years that i've been on youtube and doing dollar tree diys anytime i've needed something of this like caliber i've always used the glass candlestick holders you know you have to like paint them do all of that it's like the same shape over and over so the fact that we got brand new shapes they did black option, they did a white option. I just think that this changes the DIY game so much and I couldn't believe it. Um, hoping that maybe one day we'll get like different uh, variations of height on these, but you know what, for right now, I think these options are absolutely amazing. You can see that these two match, but I did not find this option in white, but I'm sure that that's available if I had to guess but these are amazing also would look cute in a tear tray and maybe you could put like something small on top it doesn't have to obviously be a candle holder and then you know if your mind is reeling on diys you could like put a plate or all kinds of things you know with candle holders now let me show you all of the amazing gift bags that i found i just cannot believe how many new gift bags i've seen this year this one is really cute, just caught my attention and kind of surprised me. It's a two piece and it says, Dear Santa, I really did try. That is absolutely hilarious. And then you have this one that says, Let it snow, which is really pretty too. You've got this like blue foil effect. I don't know if you guys can see it. This bag is gorgeous in person. It really is. Yeah, the camera is not doing it the justice at all. And then I want to point out that the tags match the bag exactly. I love it when they do that too. So, but this one right here, I would put this one on your list. It's so good. 
Then I found these two options, which blew me away. I don't know why, but I just never... Like, when you look at all the other Dollar Tree bags compared to these two, it... I don't, even, I don't even know what to say. It's like, does it make sense? It just doesn't look like Dollar Tree, but what? How gorgeous. This green bag right here is just blowing my mind because it looks so chic. The one thing I will say is the, the handles, you know, it's just like, mm. I mean, you could change it out for something else, but this bag is absolutely stunning with the sil silver foil. I think the font that they used is perfection. And then they did the same thing with this bag. And I think that they made the right decision by doing gold foil. The one thing I will say is that, why do they do the white outline here? I wish they would have done like a darker red outline maybe, just kind of like they did the, the green bag. But overall, still a super stunning, stunning bag. So I, that surprised me. Okay, then I found this set, which is so cute, has the plaid. Wow, this is, I, I feel like these three are probably my favorite bags that I've seen so far. I don't know what it is. I just think the color combinations are really amazing. They're not, it's like they're bright, but they're not too bright. I don't, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know if that made sense but I'm absolutely loving the plaid that they used on here. I've never seen them use this, these set of colors before, and Santa is really cute. Very different. Um, just the way that his beard is shaped is just very different. And, and we've got this snowman with the buffalo check. Wow, so, so darling. And then this one, which has the trim and the little, the little trio. Oh, I wish they did that with the other ones. They did do them each differently on the sides, but that is absolutely everything. What in the world? Yeah, I, I love these little three bags. And then, dang it, this one. Is this not the cutest bag you've ever seen? Like, Dollar Tree did really good this year. I have to say, they there have been some really special bags in 2016 and 2019, my two favorite years, by the way. But overall, 2020, I think they, they nailed it. Circle effect that they're doing, this bag is so freaking cute. I don't even know what to say, but I only found this one in this particular style. And the same thing with this one. This bag is really simple, but completely unique at the same time oh my god they did a cute little snowy village but on a on a small scale i think that i might change out the red although i can see why they did the red handle because of the roofs on these little houses here but the baby blue is really cute oh they've got a a um, Bible scripture on the side. That's so sweet. I love that. It says, good news that will cause great joy. A savior has been born. Luke 2.10. Wow. So, so nice. And oh yeah, it says scripture added right here. Dollar Tree has done the train concept before, but I think this is definitely a new print. And then here is Santa just hanging out. His train's got a bag full of toys that is really cute. I love this bag. Even there's like a tree here. You've got the wreath there. It has that um, look like it, like this bag was painted. So really pretty. So I like that. And then here is this option, which you know I love. Anytime there's a little village, it's just, it grabs my attention every single time. And Santa's just flying over everybody. And I want to point out that there's plaid and I love that they went with just like the blue it's not too busy I just it's perfection they did the plaid at the bottom of the bag as well here is this set which actually matches this one you can just tell that they were doing the same thing because it has that painting brush look to it 
and oh my gosh, I love this bag. And look how huge it is for a dollar. Like that's just crazy. And then what? That is amazing. I love this bag. So cute. And then here's this one, which is different from all the other ones. And I want to point out that they added another tag that says extra wide. So, and by that, I think they mean this, which is really good because the thing about these larger bags from this perspective is that they're pretty narrow from a side perspective. So I just love him being on the airplane. Oh, look at the little house. That's, you know, I like that. Yeah, this one. Oh my God. And then you've got the, the stripes, which I love the stripes too. I think it's like one of my favorite um, side prints to a Christmas bag. They even do the stripe on the inside and the stripe on the bottom. And then I found even more wrapping paper. They're so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up so that you guys can see them properly. I found, so the first two you're gonna see um, have like animals on it. So this one is for all of my cat lovers. And I actually grew up with cats. I had cats before I had dogs, so they're so cute, you guys. Look how freaking adorable that is. And then here is the dog option, which there's, I'm seeing a Dalmatian on here with who has a ton of personality. Oh no, one of them's wearing a beret. Oh my gosh, this is freaking hilarious. Oh, he's wearing earmuffs. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so funny. These are all Hallmark, by the way. Um, they're not like Dollar Tree, from the Dollar Tree warehouse. Then let's get into this one, which is really beautiful. I would, I would wager that it would be a fast sellout because it just looks like it came from Target or Walmart. It's just very pretty and it's at Dollar Tree. So we've got the buffalo check on the deers with the little snow markings. Um, there's actually, I can tell there's quite a bit of uh, wrapping paper in these and it's a dollar. Like that's crazy. Here is this option, which this one's also Hallmark. I don't even know if if wrapping paper has ever come from Dollar Tree. I'll have to check out my past videos, um, but here's the print. So amazing. Um, this one has Santa on it and wow. Also, I wanna point out for all of my crafters you're into planning, this would be a really cute wrapping paper to do maybe like your Christmas planner because as you can see, they've done the print in these squares and you can just simply cut into them. You can laminate it, do all of that crafting stuff that would be really cute. And then Santa's just doing a ton of stuff in each little window. He's checking the list. He's checking on his reindeer. This one is really darling and Look at that. I would put this on your list too, if it's up your alley. And then the last one, let me tell you a little story about this last one. I was at Dollar Tree, obviously I'm always at Dollar Tree, but I was checking out and I saw this wrapping paper, but I didn't want to add to the pile. And I made a mental note. I was like, do not forget that wrapping paper on what it looks like. And I told myself that next time I went back, I would pick it up. And that's exactly what I did. And it's just so cute. Cause you know, the snowy town, I've, I've got to have it. I don't know why. All right, so that's it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget, come back here for Sunday's haul and Monday's haul, it's gonna be so good. And then we are going to get into the gift baskets. I'm gonna be doing a ton of gift baskets in one video for you guys to give you ideas. And I can't wait for you to see the theme for each basket. So it's already all planned out. I've been buying all the things. So it's just a matter of getting it slotted into 
uh, a day to film and putting it out there for you guys. So it's coming and that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.